Hey guys, today we're going to calculate the kinetic energy in joules of a 1500 kilogram automobile moving at 11 meters per second. The target formula we're going to have to use here is kinetic energy. So we know that kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. m meaning mass, v meaning velocity, not volume. So let's see if we can find mass anywhere in this problem. Instantly we can see kilograms, that's a unit of mass, so that's going to be our m. And now let's look for velocity, the only other variable needed to calculate kinetic energy. Meters per second, that's a unit of speed, or velocity, and let's use that. So now we can rewrite this formula as kinetic energy equals 1 half times 1500 kilograms times velocity, which is 11 meters per second. And make sure to square it, always square it, when you're calculating kinetic energy. And also just a quick note, uh, we use kilograms directly in the formula. We don't need to convert to grams because joule equals kilogram times meters squared over seconds squared. So yeah, as you can see, the meter gets squared here. The second in denominator gets squared here, so meters per second. And the mass is just kilogram. You just plug that straight in. We don't need to convert to just normal grams at all. Now if you crunch that into a calculator, you'll get... Uh, 90,750 joules, which is our answer because it asked us to, you know, calculate in joules. Now, let's convert this energy to calories. So, uh, we got to start off with what we're given, 90,750 uh, joules. And we're going to have to use a little bit of dimensional analysis. So, we know that 4... 0.184 joules goes into one calorie not kilocalorie just normal calorie and after you uh, calculate that it'll end up being 21,689.77 calories and remember this is just the this is the exact same thing as 90,750 joules we just converted it to calories they're just both different you know units or measurements of energy so yeah, I hope uh, you guys uh, understood what this problem was asking for. And uh, if you have any questions about different problems or even about this problem, make sure to mention that in the comment section below. And good luck with chemistry.